Welcome to the ninth online symposium of Atlantic International University. The theme of this symposium is My Legacy to Future Generations. And my name is Dr. Edward Lambert. I'm hosting the event. And we're now moving on to our next presenter, who is Jean Damour Niyi Tanginge. Yes, thank you. Who very is getting much. the presentation ready? How are you today, Jean Damour? I am very fine. How are you? I greet every audience and the participants from this presentation. And I think my name is Jean Damour Nitangji. Uh, maybe I'm sorry that I don't have more history to say, but focusing on the topic. Uh, actually, I'm Rwandan. I have born in 1990 and I'm married now. Uh, presently, I am a teacher. I'm a teacher in secondary school. So just before continuing, I wanted to play this. Uh, I'm very sorry. A host can help me to to make a stride. Yeah, I see that your presentation is not appearing. And um, I note that uh, I have, I have not a strong network. It is uh, like unstable. I will, I will go ahead and share your presentation then. So go ahead and stop sharing. And I will bring up your presentation. Mm. Mm. Yes, Eosta, uh, please can you help me to, to present as I see there is. Oh my God. Yes, I'm finding your presentation now. Sorry. Um, I don't know what happened for this presentation. Oh my God. Yes, I'm sorry, I don't see uh, the strategy show. Maybe a hoster can help me so that my presentation can move. That I restart this so that I can see if you work. Thank <laughs> you. 
One second, we're having a little difficulty in bringing up a presentation. There we go. Okay, can you see the presentation now? Yes, can see the presentation. Yes. John Damour, your presentation is up. You can, can you can um, you can give your presentation now. It looks as though Jean de Moore has lost connection to the internet. Yes, I think we can hear him. Yes, I do not see him on the list now. Oh, that's what happened. His connection, his connection was lost. Yes. This happens on the, on the internet. So that's what was happening. So we, we will wait a second for him to come back. Renato. Yes. Renato is the tutor that is with Renato, do you see that Jean de Moore has come back? No, I don't. I don't see him I, at the moment now, Dr. Edward. But um, definitely we'll be in the lookout so that once he does come back, we can get him back to do his presentation. Yes. So in the meantime, it may just be a minute or two for Jean de Moore to, to come back, to, re to reconnect. In the meantime, let's open up the floor to whoever wants to make a comment. Go ahead and raise your hand and we'll wait for Jean de Moore to come back. We're talking about your legacy for future generations. We've heard from uh, Dr. Joshua Babatunde and Professor Gabriel Cabanda. Does anybody else want to make a comment? State a question. <clears throat> Dr. Mukuru, I see maybe Dr. Mukuru. Here, Angel Che, you have the microphone. Can you I can't hear you very well. Can it, does it? Does anybody else hear very well? I don't know. A little better. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Angel from Belize in Central America. Our connection is not good. Yeah, your connection is not good. When you talk, there's a lot of static. But try to go. Uh, um, as I was saying, I'm a bit angel from the youth in Central America. I just want to give thanks to AIE for this invitation to, to participate in the first symposium. And the voice is not clear. Um, yes. Yeah. An angel Che, I would suggest writing your question or comment in chat because we cannot hear your sound very well. Okay, sure. Dr. Mukuru, would you like to say something, Dr. Mukuru? Yes. Uh, I'm happy to join this conference. 
and uh, I greet all colleagues and doctors who are present. Uh, really, uh, it is a time of technology whereby our youth, uh, the college students and universities, they have to see how they can use the availability of the, the technology usage in developing uh, actually the solutions. Uh, whether we are in education or whether we are in business, now we are shifting to the, to the establishment of new solutions uh, developed from the availability technology which we have around us. For example, now our youth, they should think about how they can join the electronic uh, businesses or e-commerce, whereby people, they have platforms uh, where they can advertise and even they can sell their products when they are far away on a low cost. On the side of our technology world, now people, they are sitting very far, but they can actually have a market uh, around the globe. Take a case, uh, Amazon, they have made a lot of dollars uh, just selling the products of others using their uh, platforms and their websites. So I think uh, as to advise the youth, whether you are not taking uh, the courses in computer science and IT, but even people who are in business, uh, they approach those people who have such skills and they develop for them uh, the platforms, uh, all the systems which they use uh, to sell and market their products. That's why nowadays uh, universities and colleges, they're trying to shift from actually having 100% face-to-face, but they are trying to develop more solutions to see that they make uh, learning online interactive and even developing more models which they can use in science to demonstrate what was supposed to be done in the laboratories other than buying equipment and uh, piling them in rooms and chambers but people, they are trying to see a go ahead how they can develop solutions from the side of technology uh, and mainly now IT leading uh, the field. So I think as we talk of the legacy of our time, uh, we are not working the traditional way, but we are shifting from tradition uh, to the new, I can say the new world of technology where now we are trying to apply uh, more solutions, developing solutions, innovations, to make sure that we make our world smart and the way how we are working smart. So uh, on my side, uh, I'm, I'm actually enjoying uh, the way how now universities are trying to shift, uh, delivering their lessons and, lecture, and lectures online using the available apps like Microsoft Teams, like the Zoom, and so many others are coming. So, which means our universities and colleges, they should have more interactive platforms uh, where students are supposed to interact uh, while when they are still at home to avoid uh, movements and even cutting down the costs. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Edward. Thank you so much. Let's move on to Ibrahim Muhammad Koroma. Please, do you have something to say? Ibrahim? Ibrahim Muhammad, do you have something to say? You have the floor. Aaron, Aaron Boma? Aaron Boma, do you have a comment, question? You have the floor. Go ahead and unmute your microphone. Unmute your microphone. How are you listening? 
Here, let me try. Ibrahim Muhammad, are you able to talk? No, we cannot hear you. Uh, let's go to Bayo Olajide. Are you able to talk? Bayo Olajide? Dr. Lambert. Hello, please. Yes, Dr. Dr. Lambert. Talk, talk with us. Good afternoon. And, uh, yes, can, 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 you, hear, can yes. you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone on this side of the I'm speaking from uh, Uganda, though I am in Nigeria, but I'm, I live in Uganda. And uh, I'm a student of uh, AIU, studying civil uh, engineering. You know, I have already sent you a private question regarding uh, the online uh, study, especially when you are studying engineering related uh, courses that, that require you to go to the field and, uh, you know, do some practical, practical work. Then after getting the certificate uh, online, is this, I mean, in this part of, of the world, this Africa, uh, my concern is how, how credible is this certificate using it in this part of the, of the world? Uh, to secure a uh, uh, good job. That, that's my question. And this, this is because that I've been boarding since I started, and uh, you know, I almost uh, finished my, my degree course. Thank you. That question goes to Dr. Lambert, if you could please. Sorry, I was muted. Thank you so much for your words. Jean Damour is now back with us. Yes, and, uh, I face the challenge of low connectivity, which is unstable. Yes, uh, let me bring was... your presentation back up. Yes. Okay, please continue. When you need to change the slide, just let me know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I, I actually have your presentation. Oh, can you do your presentation? Yes, I have it now. Okay. Hello. 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 Are you getting me? Yes, Mr. Jean, we can hear you. <clears throat> can you hear us? Yes, I think you understand me and are you listening to me well? Yes, we can hear you, Mr. Jean. And your presentation okay, is open. Okay, thank you very much. You're um, welcome. I'm Jean Amour Nitang uh, I'm an AIU student, a master's degree in higher education management. Uh, I'm Rwandan. Yes, after hearing the week to present I have been incited concerning rigas. Rigas, the next. Rigas is a big philosophy to, that you can make a detail, 
But uh, in this presentation, I think it is as a peer learning, I will present you what rigors just in my profession or my career as educator. Actually, I'm a teacher, secondary teacher in Rwanda. I'm a bachelor, graduated, but master's not yet now. And at my level, I think I have rigors and its meaning. There are many things that I have done for next generation. Continuing this, Hosta, you will help me to, to just to. Hello, Jean de Moi. I don't know. I think yes. I, will, I will do your presentation. I'll share, I'll share your presentation from my screen. Okay. You go. I got this. So you, you can tell me when to change the slide. Yes. After, after three minutes only. Okay. About two minutes. Yes, uh, slide number two. Yes. Uh, slide number two. Slide two. Second slide. Second slide. She did not mean it. You must not hear it. She did not mean it. Definitely. The second slide. Ah, uh, yes. And this is the first time you. you Wait, which slide are you looking for? Yes, I see. This is a slide. Right here. Go to slide number one. This is slide number one. Yes. Slide number two. Yes. Yes. What do you want? Do you want to? Do you, is this the slide that you need? The previous one. Ah, the previous one. This is slide number one. Yes. Okay. Please continue. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, just as I told the audience, I'm a secondary teacher and educator. Actually, I don't have uh, more histories to say, but to concern about legacy that I will leave for the future generation. As you see, uh, yes. yes, as you see, uh, as a secular teacher, just I live. I'm together with the learners, youth that develop their skills. I help them to develop their skills. We know that we have been challenged by COVID-19 and from that one, by using face-to-face -face teaching and learning activities, it comes a problems. Then from that, we tried to integrate technology in education. As an educator, you go next. You go next slide, sir. Yes. As an educator, just my legacy lie in education. Where uh, I tried to train more than uh, 10,000 
of teachers about integrating ICT in education by using online tools, uh, those of Google, and uh, the tools that we find in Microsoft, where they are Microsoft Teams, they are Microsoft Forms, and so on. You go next. Yes, uh, next. Yes. When we say legas, just we understand the vision that we can make. And this one, I'd like to share my capital. This is of, because of our legas participation, contribution, and being responsive citizen. You go next. Yes, uh, uh, with this presentation concerning Lagos, I would like to share you uh, this short video mm, so that we can understand more we what is the legacy government functions and how we can engage it in this video we explain the concept of responsive citizenship what do we mean by responsive citizenship to be responsive means to react to answer or to respond to matters that are of interest people are responsive when they are actively participating in matters that affect them while citizenship is often linked to legally recognized nationality, in this context, citizenship refers to an individual who is a member of society in a particular community. Responsive citizenship, therefore, refers to members of the community who actively participate in the realization of their rights and the fulfillment of their duties. What does the right to public participation mean for government? When South Africa became a constitutional democracy, its governance framework changed from one that was racially exclusive to one that is broadly representative, in the sense that all South African citizens have the right to vote and to participate in democratic decision-making processes. South Africa's constitution requires public administration to foster participatory democracy on the basis of informed and empowered citizenship. Thus, Participatory democracy means that citizens have not only the right to vote in national, provincial, or local government elections, but also to ongoing and regular interaction with the institutions and the elected people that represent them. This is reflected in the preamble of our constitution, which states that our constitution lays the foundations for a democratic and open society in which government is based on the will of the people especially local government, plays a very important role in participatory democracy. Our municipalities are focused on providing infrastructure and services, which influence our day-to-day -day lives directly. Our constitution therefore requires municipalities to encourage the involvement of communities and community organizations and respond to people's needs. According to local government legislation, Municipalities must develop a culture of community participation by creating mechanisms, processes, and procedures for community participation, communicating information to the community, giving notice of meetings of the municipal council to the public, allowing admission of the public to these meetings, making certain documents available to the public, establishing a website and place information thereon. What does the right to public participation mean for community members? Then, uh, next. Citizenship does not only require the government to provide opportunities. Yes. From this video, I would like to focus on the meaning to me. Ligas. Ligas just is to think or is to contribute 
is to be a responsive is to construct a future generation from that video we have seen how can uh, people be responsive so from that uh, i can say everyone has a career or professional where just from the experience of this pandemic we have to work hard we have to work hard so that we contribute we satisfy our future generation so me as an educator a teacher i just try to by integrating technology in education so that we mitigate the effect of pandemics uh, so that we enable learners to adapt it to the 21st century learning design and develop skills like collaboration skills, uh, skilled communication, uh, self-learning, uh, problem solving, real problem solving and innovation, uh, the use of ICT in learning and so on. Then I have done more to my concern according to my profession. You go next. Yes. Good. As you see, uh, I have I have been on this teacher picture by using face-to-face -face education and online education, which is blended learning, just in our secondary schools. I tried also to be a trainer for my fellows teachers so that they can gain skills to integrate ICT in education as you see in that picture yeah. and uh, uh, from 2019 just uh, I trained more than 10,000 teachers yeah. to how to integrate ICT in education for empowering quality education yeah. and improving performance you go next. Y esos otros. Y estos hay otros que son de tecnología láser, que prácticamente no dispersan. Yes, as I told them, uh, by integrating teaching and learning, just in our country, we are still, we were still using face-to-face -face learning. We are. Uh, it was a hard work just to to evaluate learners, to assess learners. But now we try to contribute, we try to train our teachers and even learners so that we can adapt to the change, that we can also access inclusive education by integrating ICT in education. You go next. Go next. Yes. Sometimes. Uh, there are some ones that think that uh, technology can make a bad change to the education by but by with in integrating technology in education we can improve quality education I think we lost him, Dr. Edward. Yes, it appears we have lost Jean Damour. Yes. Again. I do not see him in the list. Do you see him, I Renato? No, I, don't, I don't see him either. Yeah, this is common. So if anybody's writing and drawing on the presentation, please do not do this. It is not respectful. It is not very good. So 
if you whoever did that if you can clear your screen that will be removed hello um you are able the host you are able to disable the person who is doing it all you have to do is go in more and then you will disable the person who is doing the writing on the screen that is the host okay so uh, hello dr renee i hear you so you go into more and then where what does it see there disable annotation for others is that it good disabled right and then it can also show the name of the person who is missing the screen so you can um hit that button as well Yeah, I did not catch the name of the annotator. So. What you can do now, you can go in reaction and you can um, look for the button that says clear screen and it will clear the, 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 the market. Hey, thank you so much. Welcome. We learned something. Always good to have you around, Dr. Renee Level. Oh, that was Jennifer. Is that is that Jennifer? Jennifer Anderson. Okay. <laughs> I can I can't see you. I can only hear. So your name is Jennifer? Jennifer. Okay, thank you so much. Are you where are you from? Here am I. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Um, Renato, has uh, has Jean de Moore come back yet? No, Dr. Edward, I still have not seen him. So I, unless you want to open up the floor just for a couple of questions, we give him a couple of minutes to see if he comes back. Yes. I have to get back to the screen. I can't see everybody there. So while Jean de Moore is coming back, does anybody have, oh, we have a hand raised from iPhone. If anybody has some comments to make, we are having some technical difficulties during this presentation. Jean de Moore is losing his connection. So that happens. As you know, as you, when you live, wherever you live, the internet has good days and bad days. Lula Mile, Lula Mile, given, you have the floor. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Doc, are you able to hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay, I don't have to start the video, eh? Or should I? I uh, know. <laughs> okay, no, that's fine. It's, okay, no, that's fine. Great. Um, I think I think I am very impressed with Jin's uh, contribution or presentation thus far. Uh, especially with respect to a decision or an aspiration, you know, to be a responsible citizen, because I believe. Basically, the fundamental responsibility of a teacher or of an educator is that of growing, developing, nourishing, and schooling these young ones towards responsible adulthood so that they are able to seize their rightful positions in society and be of essence to the society, which therefore implies that if he aspires to be a responsible citizen, then he's setting a good precedent for others to follow suit including generations to come. For me, I think that's a very positive contribution for future generations. Thanks, Doc. Thank you so much. Um, let's go now to iPhone. Are you ready to talk? Give you a chance. Obadiah, Obadiah, can you talk? Juliet.
Juliet, can you hear us? Anyone else would like to speak, would like to ask a question? Um, yeah, this is Messi from Nigeria. Okay, please, Mercy. The stage is all yours. Thanks. Um, I just want to commend the presenter. Uh, actually, it's, it's a good idea. It's a great achievement he has made. Training about uh, 1,000 teachers, uh, giving them the necessary skills to be expert. Mercy, can you can you hear us? We can. We lost your audio. Mercy, I believe we lost Mercy. Audio, Dr. Edwards. Oh, there you go. Can are. you hear me? Now we can hear you, Mercy. Please continue. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, my dear. Please continue. <laughs> okay. Just a brief uh, commendation uh, to the last presenter. Like I said, that is a great achievement. At least um, making 1,000 teachers to leverage skills that could make them expert teachers. It's a great one. So like I said, the challenge could be some of us who are not in the secular school. Uh, that avenue of assessing teachers uh, may be a bit uh, difficult, but that was a good one. Thank you. Thank you, Mercy, for sharing that with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, Dr. Edward, would you like to ask somebody in Spanish? I know we have a couple of Spanish Okay. We have somebody here who has a question in Spanish. Hector Rivera, Señor Hector Rivera, tiene una pregunta. Uh, sí, gracias. Uh, puede ser en inglés, lo puedo hacer en inglés, en español. First, all, okay. First, I want to con congratulate the, the previous professor for, for his achievements. And also, I want to thank you, AIU, for giving us the opportunity to know what people from other countries are doing. So I think that that's a great opportunity for all of us to learn something different, okay? Uh, right now, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm working with, uh, with gifted children here in Puerto Rico. So be, be uh, as, an, as an educator, uh, it's, a, it's a great, not only a pleasure, but it's a great responsibility to, uh, to form uh, those kids in matter that they, they can do something, something more for the country. So finally, I want to thank all of you for, for having this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing that with us, Hector. Um, Alguien más en español quisiera hablar, quisiera hacer una pregunta en español. Okay, let's move on to Grace Simba. Hello. Hello, Grace Simba. Do you have a comment, yes, question? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, just to contribute to what my colleague uh, uh, has presented. Uh, actually, I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate what IOU is doing. Uh, and for uh, really bringing this such good idea uh, on legacy. Uh, uh, coming back to what my colleague was presenting, uh, actually, I like he, uh, the person, he has got a very brilliant, brilliant idea uh, on responsive citizen by transferring the technology. So, and integrating uh, technology to the future uh generation so i just look at it. the first presenter actually was talking about the e business and the advancement of the technology which actually it's now the the global agenda or, or topic that even now we're just meeting reaching each other because of technology 
So I'm sure this was a legacy by someone as well. And now we are able to, to, to really work or study virtually, uh, although we don't meet physically, but I, I, I guess this was a legacy by someone. So sí. O las empresas que le dio el viejo, le dio le, le, le Sorry? Please, please go ahead. Yeah. So, so what my colleague was really doing here is the output of what he's doing actually uh, physically from the field. So as we are learning, I think uh, this one, it, it, it has been a very good example to learn uh, on the output uh, because what you see about 10,000 teacher is not, uh, it's not 10,000 uh, student or community is not a joke. He still has got a long journey to go and he's still making up. And we are assuming he will win a, a, he will win a huge community. And the, the essence of legacy will be realized. So I really appreciate on what he has presented and together with the comment from the other colleagues on e-business and technology. Thank you. Thank you, Grace, for sharing that with us. Dr. Edward, Let's go on else? to Jennifer Anusim. Jennifer, can you activate your microphone? I'm very sorry. That was an that, that was that was an error. I'm very sorry. I need to be oh. very alert. It was okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Dr. Miriam Abukalaf. Yes, sir. Please, do you have Hello. a question, comment? Hello. No, hello everybody. Nice to meet you. Okay. Hello everybody. Nice to meet you. Hello. Please. Um, I'm uh, Miriam Abu Khalaf and uh, I'm Jordanian, but I'm working in Egypt. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, and nice to meet you all. And I'm one of the students of the AIU. I finished my master's degree in education uh, uh, some years ago, and I'm preparing my PhD also in the same university in the AIU too. I would like to share my experience with uh, teaching um, uh, a, a online in Egypt with the, with the, the, uh, the whole group, if, if it is possible. How much time do you need for that? Five minutes. Actually, we don't have five minutes. We only have a, a minute or two. What, one minute, it's okay. I'm just wanna tell you what experience I faced in Egypt with the students and uh, just, to, just uh, sharing my, my opinion and my experience with you. Yeah, keep it to about okay. one minute so we can get everybody no in, else in here. We have about, yeah, okay. just one minute, one minute, please. Okay, that's it. Um, I started teaching in Egypt in uh, 16 years ago. I, I got married in uh, here and I started my job uh, in, in schools. And then uh, uh, teaching children were not that, that easy uh, a job, but it was really fantastic and amazing with me. Uh, then uh, we started last year because of the COVID-19 students it, sat home and we started our online teaching. And it was not easy for these students for, for lots of reasons. Reason number one, internet was not that, um, um, the possibility of having internet in, in several places uh, was not good. Um, uh, some teachers were not able to, to, to know what is uh, teaching online and uh, uh, some other technical problems with the schools and so on. But in my school, um, in my, in my colleagues and I, we just sat and we, uh, we said that we have to continue teaching the children because actually, if they sat home for more than one month, all of uh, all our efforts and job is gonna be like uh, starting from zero. So um, we created some programs and uh, some, uh, some kinds of uh, um, uh, sheets, games, uh, and, excuse me? Please, I just try and try and try and uh, keep it 
keep it a little shorter because we got um, another person to talk and then we have to go to our next presenter. Okay, th uh, that's it. Um, uh, I just want to tell you that it's uh, the, the whole, uh, the whole, uh, uh, the whole process. So, but what we are saying is this minor minor work that we are even fighting for. What I'm trying to tell you that the whole process is, is, is going. The whole process and the challenge is uh, is going to teachers uh, because they are the ones who are gonna create a, a new generation and new generation who can learn uh, with uh, online or offline. That's that's all what I'm uh, gonna tell you. Thank you. Thank you for keep, thank you for keeping this theme of education alive, because our presenter was going to talk about education. So thank you, thank so, you much. so much. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Mohammed Kurshid Akhtar. Yes, yes, doctor, I'm very, yeah, I'm very thankful to you and very happy to see you. You are my advisor in doing PhD. I did the PhD in computer science, you remember? I enrolled in 2004 and I cleared in 2017. And you are my advisor and I'm, I am very happy and I am working here since 32 years in the education in King Abdul Aziz University, Saudi Arabia. And I trained more than, more than 30,000 students. And it's going on you also because you are my advisor. And you helped me to clear my PhD because there was some problem on the uh, submissions also, but you told no, you have uh, sufficient credit and you can get the certification also. And I got the uh, PhD certificate. And I did in India also. This is my second certificate. So as we help each other, we help, we're helping the future generations. Do you agree? Yeah, but doctor, there, there is the one thing I want to help AIU. If you are interested to start the branch here in Saudi Arabia, I can help you because I joined one institution and I am dean of that institution. And Saudi Arabia, they opened the possibility to open the branches. And if you are interested, we can send you some proposals. If you are accepted, then we can go ahead. Please, please send us your proposals. Yeah, because a lot of PhD students, they need the PhD online because now before the Saudi, they are not accepting the online certifications, but now because of the COVID pandemic, it is, you can say it is the privilege also. It is like a curse, a boon also both. It Great. means no online they are accepting. It means you have good chance to open the branch here and I can help you, doctor. I'm very happy and thankful to you. Please. And actually, I yeah, so I prepared the yeah, yeah, doctor, one thing more. I prepared the presentations for the legacy, but because of the national day, I'm very busy. I could not uh, join. But inshallah, next time when anything happened, I will join inshallah your presentation also. Thank you. Thank you for talking and sharing with us. Please send your proposals. Oh, yeah. We now have to move on to our next presenter. So Jean de Moore was not able to finish his presentation. And so we will make his presentation available um, in chat so that you can see what he was going to present. Okay, 